With this video, I wanted to show some of the cool new development platforms that are available from Rockwell Automation. I'm going to give an overview of independent cart technology, application code manager, emulate 3D, and how the digital tools will help enable you to quickly and effectively design and deploy the next generation of machine systems. Let's start by understanding what is independent cart technology. Independent cart technology, or ICT, is a set of intelligent conveyance and transport products. These products are modular, flexible, and highly controllable with the capability to move large and small loads. Emulate 3D is an engineering tool that enables a virtual twin of your physical system. This virtual twin, also referred to as the digital twin, allows you to replicate your system and develop your mechanics and controls in a space that doesn't cost you large amounts of time and rework when there is a design conflict. The software provides the framework to simulate system throughput, demonstrate machine operations, and virtually commission control systems. The control system tie-in allows you to simulate your real controls to tweak machine operation and show possible collisions to avoid costly mistakes further in the machine build cycle. Newly developed for Emulate 3D is the ICT Catalog and Framework. The catalog contains the Emulate 3D optimized models for Rockwell Automation independent car technology products. The framework that pairs with the catalog enables the easy generation of modular controller code that will allow you to quickly simulate your operation. This modular code can be used as the base for larger projects and can be deployed in live systems without modification. Code generation leverages the Application Code Manager, or ACM, libraries. Let's put together and test an iTrack 5730 system to see how easy it is. We can drag in the motor modules to lay out our track. You'll notice that the modules snap together intelligently, which means they will not allow you to snap them together in a way that doesn't make sense. Notice the rails here and how it won't allow me to snap the motor modules together backwards. I can build the track out using the same controls that other native Emulate 3D catalogs leverage, like copying models from the workspace rather than dragging them from the catalog each time. Now I want to add the Emulate 3D iTrack controller. This is an Emulate 3D controller that translates the appropriate controls through to the visualizations, linking the independent cart technology framework to the track we just laid out. You'll notice the ICT toolbar at the top that accompanies the catalog and framework. Next up for us is to add the movers. I can do this two ways. First, I can add these manually from the catalog in the same way that we added the motor modules. Notice that the movers also snap to the track. The other way is by using the ICT framework to generate the movers. By navigating to the mover configuration and selecting how many we want to add, we can automatically generate the movers to the track. What we want to do next for some base controls of the system is to add stations to the track. These stations pair with the ICT libraries in Application Code Manager leveraging an AOI for an awesome control starting point. Movers will move from station to station, leaving the station they are at once a station complete command is triggered. Picture a filling line. You would possibly have a station for loading empty product onto your mover tooling. Once loading is complete, the mover would proceed to the filling station. Once filling is complete, the mover would proceed to the picking station. And once the product is picked from the mover, it would return to the initial loading station to repeat the process. Now that we've set up our system, we can generate our controller code and run the system. Notice there are some options for which controller to generate the code for. I'm currently using a Compact Guard Logics controller sitting at my desk with me. You can see here that we can export the ACM project, the ECD file that can be downloaded into the controller, and the tag bindings. The tag bindings allow you to easily import all of the linkages you need between the tags in your controller and the Emulate 3D model. In a few short minutes, the system generates your code and you're good to go. When you open your Application Code Manager project, you'll notice there are some navigation panels. The ones I'll focus on are the two on the bottom left, the one in the center, and the one on the right. The controller preview on the far bottom left is exactly that, a preview of how the project will look when exported to and open in Studio 5000. Next to that is the class view. Here you can easily add and edit project content by library object. Here you can see that there's a list of library objects that were automatically generated for our iTrack system. In the middle, you have the details of each library object selected, where you can configure each object instance individually without doing any programming. On the right, you have the libraries that have been opened up in ACM. You can leverage Rockwell Automation libraries or create your own. For this system, the, the ICT library was used. The ICT library has an extensive amount of controls options and move characteristics to give you a wide range of flexibility to implement your system. I've already downloaded the program into my controller. You'll notice that there is an easy AOI that acts as a faceplate for the iTrack. It defaults in the virtual configuration. Notice that by triggering the virtual or physical bits, 
you can quickly switch over to a physical system or back to a virtual for testing and development. From here, we can leverage the startup sequence routine to do exactly that, start up the iTrack 5730. All we have to do here is trigger the command startup bit. If we look back at the device status, we can see that the virtual iTrack 5730 is now energized and ready for motion commands. With the station logic, all we have to do is enable each of the stations. The station routines have the logic necessary to control the station, including handling station entry as well as completion of the operation. The library adds a timer here to simulate an operation, but it would be easy to change this to whatever your station operation would be. Following our earlier analogy, once your loading is complete for your filling station, you would trigger the process completed bit and the station would send the mover to the next station. The same would go for the filling and picking stations. Now that we've enabled each of the stations, let's take a look at the running system and emulate 3D. There are just a few quick steps we need to do to see what's happening for the system. Step one is to connect the controller. In the tag browser, we can import the tags that we previously generated. From here, we just click connect and you'll start to see the controller tag values change. For this to work, I already had my computer ethernet on the correct network and hooked into the controller. From here, I play the model and you'll see the system function exactly as it would in real life using the same code. With this demonstration, you can see that with a few short steps and without any extensive programming, we can run an independent car technology system. You can build this model out to include the rest of your machine as well as the tooling and product intended for your process. This model can then be used for validation with the rest of the machine system or manufacturing line for full mechanical and electrical commissioning. It can also be used as a selling tool to help your customers understand the operation of your proposed solution with little development time. From here, the work you've done to create the demo can integrate with the rest of your machine and run your physical system without modification. One last thing I want to show you is the ability to import a MagnaMotion MagnaMover-like configuration. To start, I've opened up a new Emulate 3D workspace. Already, we've built out an iTrack system fully within Emulate 3D and seen how easy this is. For MagnaMover Lite, if you already have a configuration file, you can import this and it will build out your entire track. From here, you just need to add movers and stations, similar to how we did for the iTrack, and then generate your code to operate the system. You now have a brief background on independent cart technology, Emulate 3D, and how these pair together to enable rapid engineering and deployment of a system. It's very easy to use and extremely powerful. In almost no time, you can have a system laid out and basic functionality deployed. You can use the controller code or application code manager frameworks to easily build out the full system and incorporate complex control features, which is made easy if you leverage the independent cart technology libraries that are downloadable for application code manager. If you have any additional questions or want to see more, reach out to your local Rockwell sales representative.